Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. We got to make this quick. So here, here's what actually happened. So I'm driving to the lake, dude, and um, we're, we're going to Lake Pickwick, or we're at Lake Pickwick, and there's a little bridge right there. And dude, I drove over it, and we've had like a couple cool nights. It's like the dead of summer, but we had some cool nights. And dude, there's shad and bait like flicking everywhere. And I saw like three fish schooling over there. So I don't know if that's going to pan out, but uh, we're going to drop the boat in. We're going to shoot around the corner, and I know everybody bank fishes over there. But yeah, I'm going to go throw spinnerbait real quick and try to catch me some bass. They're still, dude, they're still flicking over there. Yeah, we're going to shoot over there. So I got to get this boat in. Uh, summer fishing. We're going to go shallow. We're going to go deep. We're going to throw some top water. We're going to, like, everything, dude. This is everything you want to do during summer. And the whole trick is you got to do everything because there's a million different things happening in summer. It's kind of like spring when the fish move up. There's fish that are, like, deeper. There's fish that are in mid-depths. There's fish that are on the bank already spawning. Like, as we get later in summer, even though some of the, like, the deep water patterns stabilize, there's all this rando stuff that starts happening that you really got to pay attention to. And of course, there's mega schools. So I, I, you know, I like that. But we're gonna basically try to go out and just catch some fish, dude, because that's what we love to do. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoy the videos. Guess what? Guess what? We broke 50K a while back. Like, thank you. Like, I never thought this channel would be this way. Dude, this is like a grassroots YouTube hates us channel. Like, we are, we, we are the ground links of YouTube. But guess what? We all like to fish. We love the pursuit, trying to figure things out. We love the camaraderie. We love kind of learning, sharing tips, learning techniques, and like growing our passion, both like intellectually and through work, putting the time in on the water. And that's where we all come together on this channel, at least I hope. That's what I think at least. So um, thank you in, in all simple terms. Thank you. If I'm going to get this boat in the water, literally, dude, I can see them like popping up over there. So we got to go. All the bait. That's all shad spawning. All right, full disclosure, I haven't caught anything doing this. I did actually a couple weeks ago, but do you guys see? I know the light's really bright, bright, but like, see everything. These are all little micro white bass coming up. Every time I bring my spinner bait through this stuff, like, dude, there's millions of freaking little shad just going. And it's something that you can do. We're kind of on. You can see we're on like a little point on my CMAP. One thing you can do is right away in the morning, it takes me like two hours to get over here to drive, dude. So I wake up early, I got up at 3.30 this morning, but like if I woke up at like two, I'd probably get longer. But when it's dark in the morning, like this goes crazy, especially if it's a little bit cool. Uh, but like you just hop points, dude. You literally like run a bunch of points, run a bunch of like little bridge cuts and stuff like that. Even like some just some, I mean, some of this stuff is like straight river bar flat and you just run it, dude. And I like that spinner bait, but you can throw a popper or you can throw like a chatter bait, like anything that you can fish pretty fast. That's not super big, but like about yay, you know? And dude, they're just like, you hear them pop up. I'm sure you do with the microphone. But dude, you can get into little pods of them. They're like, probably not gonna be there the next day. And they're probably not gonna be there next week if you're pre-fishing for a derby. They, they tend to move a whole bunch. But if you wanna kinda live by the seat of your pants, especially right away in the morning before you go and maybe skip docks or flip docks or fish ledges or, you know, punch some grass or before you do all that other stuff, if you wanna just burn some gas and kinda have some fun, blaze the lake, dude. Look for stuff flicking around like bait whatever set down freaking turn your trolling motor i got mine on five i should probably have it on seven but fly through it dude and slang slang it, it can pay off it's not paying off right now but we're gonna try it a little longer and then we're gonna go try something else that right there that's what a mega school looks like boys mega should be a bit sinking the bait down there You'd set the hook like a dude. Got him that time. That's big. Boys, we are on a Schmega school. Oh yeah, this is, these are the ones we're looking for, dude. 
got them on the Kitek, the 4.8, and missed one right before I hooked her. And there's a ton. Oh my God, that's a good one. Get in here. It's game on. It's game on. Oh, we spent like seven hours idling. But, uh, oh, you were so angry. That's why you're gonna go back. Go back to your home. There's like so many of them down there. <laughs> Let's let her go. <laughs> There's so many of them down there. They're gonna chew. These fish have been super weird and super hard to catch. Found like two really big schools. Caught a few little guys here and there. This one's gonna chew and there's some bigs. Oh, she had my swim shimmer. Come on, come on. Oh, my heart, you can probably hear my heart beating. They're suspended fish though. So you just kind of like, reel the bait, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's this. Yeah, I got it. Oh, that's a better one. Chill, chill, chill. I will put you back in the water. Okay? Little jig flip, get the reaction bite. It's something that you can do with these with these football jigs is kind of you stroke them. I got a little stinger on there, and you just kind of you flick them on slack line, and you get kind of a reaction out of them versus just trying to drag them. Everybody drags the jokers, so mixing it up a little bit, get a reaction, especially when there's this many fish. Took it away. Took it away. It's called the magic jig technique. So she called this video. She, dude, she knocked Salak into the line. I had to chase her down with my my SLX. Solid one. It's a pretty cool technique, huh? We got them lined up right here. You can see they're right on the main river ledge on my on my sea map. And they're kind of, one just passed by, but they're kind of up in the water column. They're in like 20 feet. But we're just kind of stroking that jig, dude, and just whipping it. I call it whipping a jig, but like, they're reacting to it. I got, you know, I caught a decent one on a swim bait and caught a few others doing some other stuff. I might actually try this technique with a, a hair jig as well. But it's really cool because you can do it like this is a clean ledge. There's just shell, a lot of hard bottom, some rock. But dude, if you got brush, stuff like that, like that football jig is, is weedless. So it comes through a lot of that stuff. And you can fish it in that reaction style, which is something that they don't often see when they're in that cover and stuff. But I, I got to get back out. This is cool. I like that old strokester. This is gonna be the day of a hundred fish right here, boys. So when you're doing this technique, basically I'll like reel down. So when you're doing this technique, I'll like reel down a little bit and feel for the fish. And I'll get a little slack on my line, maybe one reel crank. And I'll just kind of, you like whip your rod, like Indiana Jones style. And then you just kind of feel if you got one there, ain't there. So it's almost like spoon fishing a jig. Um, you can call it stroking a jig. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty standard. It's just, dude, they see so many like drag presentations. And don't get me wrong, they work like a lot. But especially when you got a big school of fish with some active fish in it, that works.
just like that. That might be a little better one. Nope. Oh, he's coming towards the bed. But you can put like a little paddle tail deal on the back. I got a little straight tail. Nice, thank you. That was really cool. Um, I got a little stinger, but it's a little finesse jig. It's a stand-up finesse jig that I made with a little custom skirt, just like that. And uh, it's kind of a fun way to catch them. And dude, they eat it. It isn't none of that tick, tick, tap, tap. It's like they're swimming off with it like your rod bends over. Ate it when it was coming down, boys. How'd you get over there? Come back here. <laughs> Come back here. It's a little barrel. Still not the five pounders we're looking for. I dropped it. See how they eat that, dude? Look at the little one. I think the boat's turning up. Kind of, dude, it's an awesome bite because it's, it's such a reaction and you can do it on a lot of stuff. This is like a, an example of a, a clean ledge. There ain't nothing on it. But dude, look how he ate that thing. Like I'm, I'm literally ripping. Ow. Sorry, bud. I'm ripping that jig and he just, Glocked it and he took my trailer. But you can do it in brush, you can do it in a lot of different stuff. That was a giant. Well, that's gonna be a wrap, guys. I am cooked. I woke up at 3:30, it's seven o'clock now, and I got a two-hour ride home. So it's a long day. I really wish we could have capitalized on the shad spawn. Uh, stick with me here. I want to show you quick how to rig up that that jig that jig deal. It's uh it's super cool and you can do it anywhere. But overall, just to kind of give you an illustration of what happens like behind the scenes in the videos. So I idled for like six hours. I caught probably like five fish all up until like one one o'clock or so. Um, you know, I could have probably caught more, but they're all like two pounders, one pounder, and they, they were spread out few and far between. I really had to work for them. I wanted to really put my time into idle and find schools. And what I'm doing too is I'll find some of those schools and they might not be in the same place next year, but they'll be near there. And I also tried to like, I looked at some brush on the bank. I went and looked at some docks. You probably won't see videos of that, but like, dude, I did a million different things, but let me show you this jig deal. Cause it's something you can literally do anywhere. And I think the technical term is, is stroking a jig, but basically you take a football jig, just like that. This is actually a, a stand-up football jig. It's one of the boss ones. I did a custom skirt on it. That skirt sounds a little loud, but it's green pumpkin, magic craw, and then pumpkin. And then I clipped it way down. So it's basically like a finesse jig. This is a half ounce and I'm fishing it in anywhere from like 22 feet of water down to like 15. And what I did is I put a stinger on it. I also had an ace on there, but just basically a straight tail bait. You can do this with like, like paddle tail, like a mega daddy. You can do it with a, a swim bait. You can do it with a fluke. Fluke works really good. The reason I went with a straight tail is these fish are beat up. I wanted to use a lighter jig too. This is a half ounce jig. If you go with like a bigger bulkier plastic, you almost have to use a three quarter for those kinds of depths just to keep it down there. And basically what you do is you just you sort of snap that slack line, like semi slack line, and then you let it fall and you kind of reel up, see if anybody's home, if there's any tension in the line. If you're lucky and they're really chewing, you'll feel a tick, but usually it's just reel up and you're like, wow, my line is swimming to the right and there's no reason for that. And then you reel down and set the hook. But it's a great way to get reaction bites, especially like on stuff that where they've seen a lot of baits or you can't get a reaction bait into it. We talked about brush piles a little bit. Dude, in a brush pile, it's really, you can crank them, you can, you're gonna lose a lot of crank baits, so it's kind of tough to do. But this joker has a brush guard on it. So you can do this technique pretty clean through brush or through cover stumps are another good example. Um, and, and you can fish pretty fluidly. The other nice part too is, 
it's a single hook. And we all know, because I lose a lot of fish, you know, when you're fishing trebles, when you're fishing a bunch of different hooks on there, like you lose fish. So this is a great way to hook up and really lock them down. Cause when they eat this thing, dude, like they, they choke it, they, they cram it down, dude. There's no doubt because it's a reaction. They just dart over, grab it, suck it in and they start swimming off with it and you just reel down and set the hook. But it's cool technique, try it. You can use any trailer you want. Just play with the actions. Um, today I played around with the trailer and I put a paddle tail on here while you guys, but you probably won't see video of it i didn't catch anything and then i went back to this and i caught fish so there was something to it this is a, a three inch or a four inch stinger but any kind of stick bait you know an ace fat ace uh jerk bait um and you can play with your jig colors too you know i did kind of like a browner brim pattern but dude i mean we're on pickwick we're on the tva you can do a white one i caught some last year doing that like white jig uh make a little custom skirt with some magic crawl in, or some not magic crawl but that reflective like emerald blue in there and then throw like a white fluke on it dude it it's a cool way to catch them dude and you can fish it fast it's power fishing which i like but you're also fishing a jig which is pretty cool it's a unique way to fish a jig not many people do it so i hope you guys enjoyed that tip try it out let me know if it works for you on your lake. Thank you for your support for the videos, and we'll probably tune in to you next time. Broke 50K. Hot damn. Hot damn. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. But we'll, we'll tune in next time, dude. It'll probably be back out on the water. Hopefully catching some fish. Otherwise, we'll do some tips and hang out with Bog and uh, give him some pets and chat a little fishing. But till then, tight lines, keep it safe, and uh, do what you love, right? <laughs>